In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to get that VHS or glitchy color look in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, if you're enjoying these videos, leave a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here. Make sure to click the bell icon. So first, we're going to go to the effects panel and search for one called Channel Blur. I'm going to click and drag this onto my clip and in the Adjustments panel. I can increase the blurriness of just one color channel to create that chromatic aberration and color splitting effect that you typically see. So I like it. Thank you. Increasing the red blurriness to about 80 to get that red-blue fringe on the edges. You can also click Repeat Edge Pixels, which will get rid of some of that bleeding on the edges. You can also play around with increasing some of the other channel's blurriness to get different looks up to your taste, but I'm going to keep it at right about 80 red. And leave it at that. Next, I'm going to go to the effects panel and search for one called Noise here. I can add some noise and grain onto the clip and just increase that percentage, maybe about 10 or 20 percent, depending on how strong I want it to be. I can use color noise or black and white noise up to my taste as well. And that's basically it. I have my muddy, color-fringed, and noisy effect. As an optional step, you can always go through and add different effects like Color Balance HELS, or add maybe a little bit of extra Gaussian Blur on top if you wanted, and even go into the Lumetri Color Panel, and adjust the different corrections of things to get the exact exposure that you want. But it's basically just this one-two punch of the channel blur and noise effect in combination to give us an effect that gives us somewhat of an older VHS-inspired look. If you want to apply this onto different layers, you can easily save this as a preset by clicking on your clip with all the effects on it, right-clicking on the video clip section, selecting Select All, right-click, Save as Preset, so I'll call this VHS Tutorial, and then press OK. There's no keyframes on anything, so it's not going to be messy, and now if I ever go to my effects, Control panel, I can always find it in the presets folder under whatever name I saved it as so I can then instantly apply it onto another clip without having to build it again from scratch. And as you guys know, I love adjustment layers. You can always go to your project media bin, go to file, new, adjustment layer, and instead of working clip to clip, you could just apply this whole effect onto an adjustment layer and stretch it out over as many clips as you want. So that's a very simple one-two punch combo to create somewhat of a VHS-inspired look in Adobe Premiere Pro. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.